Okay, hi hello everyone. My name is Siti Nur Aisyah binti Muhammad Arman. Today I'm going to discuss about primary mental ability by Louis Alterstone. Here's uh, the objective in the end of discussion. There will be an analyzed concept of individual difference in learning according to primary mental ability by L. Lou, uh, L. L. Thurston. Theories of intelligence and identify one's intelligence. What is intelligence? Intelligence comes from the Latin word which means to understand. Intelligence in one is one of the most talked about subject in psychology especially. Intelligence is a very general problem is solving skill and the ability to inquire and apply knowledge and skill. Intelligence involves mental abilities such as logic, reasoning, uh, problem solving and planning. Specifically, current definition tend to suggest that intelligence is the ability to learn from the experience, the acquisition, retention, and the use of the knowledge is an important component of intelligence. Next is recognize problem to use the knowledge, and people first misidentify the problem it might address, and intelligence is also about problem solving. People must use the what, what they have to learn and to come up with the solution to the problem. Research on intelligence plays a significant role in many areas uh, according to the educational program, program funding, uh, job applicant screening and testing to identify children who need addition academic help. According to Oxford Dictionary, intelligence is the power of perceiving, learning, understanding and knowing. On the other hand, is uh, other psychologists who have defined intelligence are Thorndike and Jean Piaget. According to Thorndike, his understand intelligence is one's capacity to deal effectively effectively with situation. According to Jean Piaget, he defined intelligence as an ability to adapt what surroundings. So we have to go to our main focus. We're gonna talk about Thurston theory about the intelligence. Intelligence is a very complex area of discussions. It is one of those theory. Thurston has attempted to divide intelligence into seven different abilities. We're gonna discuss all the abilities in this presentation. Uh, L.L. Thurston, in full name, Louis Leon Thurston, was born on May 27 in 1887 in Chicago, U.S. He was an American psychologist who was instrumental in advancement of psychometries, the science that calculates mental capacity and who created measure, measurable method for numerous factors, investigation of performance, psychological tests. Thurston was initially integrated by arithmetic and designing prior to taking a teaching position at the university. Thurston was particularly worried about the estimations of individuals' mentalities and knowledge. Thurston theory suggests that intelligence of a person can be divided among seven different areas. These seven areas are known as seven primary mental abilities. These abilities are completely different, separate, and independent of each other. One, Verbal comprehension. Verbal comprehension is basically about how much and how easy you can understand and perceive the relevance of the material that you are reading or listening to. For example, while teacher reading a book to a kid, what extent kids can understand what teacher read in a book determines their verbal comprehension on. It is basically your ability to interpret the information. 2. Verbal fluency. Verbal fluency basically tests your speed and accuracy in coming up with the words and the sentence. This is basically test in our everyday life. Verbal fluency is consistently tested when we have conversations in our life, our routine life. The more fluent and elaborate you are better you are at this ability. For example, suppose you are come up with words from given alphabet with a minute, the now the number of words you can could come up with uh, with determines your verbal is friends. Three 
numerical ability. These abilities measure your comfort and accuracy with numbers. There are different branches in numerical abilities such as ratio, percentage, addition, subtraction, and your accuracy in all these fields determine your numerical abilities. There are some companies that hire people especially for this kind of job. Basically, how comfortable you are with numbers that what it is matter in this area. 4. Perceptual speed. This determines how fast you can see, process and understand the visual shown uh, to, uh, to you and what the depth you can understand to them. Uh, the area basically tests your speed with the visual information. If you are really process visual information quickly, you can hide on perceptual speed. For example, proofreader look at the uh, look at the information and on the spot error is no time. This implies that their perceptual speed is polished. And number five, induction reasoning of this branch of intelligence is meant to judge your logic. Reasoning is your power to build up logical connection in logical manners. Inductive reasoning means if you can reach a general conclusion through the specific details with the help of your reasoning skill, this area determines how logical you are and how capable, uh, capable you are drawing up this conclusion with the help of some specific details. 6. Special visualization. This area determines how competent you are in identifying distance and anal analyzing spaces. The analysis of distance, spaces, and dimension all of this fall under special visualization. For example, an architect study a place and decide what he wants to do with, with it and come up with the idea. Uh, he does all these things to help uh, of his special visualization skill and it's basically of the device factor that how much you understand the spaces around you. And seven, lastly, memory. This is specific ability that used in all the tasks. It is to determine how much you remember from the information you have consumed earlier. This of the part intelligent is considered to be pretty important since childhood. It's all about how perceive the information you can memorize and keep it stored in your memory. This is all about Thurston's theory intelligence. This is not a contradiction to Spearman's theory. It is just an extension of maybe or maybe a completely different types of analysis. These seven abilities defines a person intelligence according to Thurston. I would like to share a quote that said, education is not preparation of our life. Education is life itself. Learning may begin in the classroom, but certainly it doesn't end there. Teachers set up the sign for the road ahead that is life itself. They inspire students to learn whatever life may take them. Now I'm gonna go to the part, uh, I'm gonna add some part uh, for the teaching mind. The importance of mental ability, uh, psychology skill or mental skill are tools for the mind. Mental ability is most significant component of functional capacity for kids, particularly in many elements of competency, Competency such as verbal, arithmetic, spell till, and logical thinking, which it help the kids, uh, in the school, in the classroom, and to understand, in the all the subject that they learn. For example, teacher could do any activities that encourage kids their cognitive thinking that help to develop their mental ability, such as reading books, to simple jigsaw games puzzle and any memory games that really help into their memory that can challenge their mental so kids uh, already know how to solve the problem with their own experience before now we're gonna move to mental skills needed needed to teach in school first of all uh, tennessee which is uh, the quality of fact of being de very determined. Next is creativity, 
the ability to make new things or think of new ideas, which is a teacher could give any questions that kids can answer, find the answer within them. Next is leadership. The action of leading a group of a of people or any organization or the ability to do this. Maybe teacher could give some kids to be a leader in their activity. So they know how to be a leader while solving the problem. Next is empathy. The ability to share someone else's feeling. So kids could be understand their friends and always be empath have the empathy with everyone that surrounds them. And lastly is patience, the capacity, habits or the fact of being very patient. Even though doing any activities that challenge their mind, they can be very patient and very determined to solve the problem. Now we jump to conclusions and to conclude that Thurston view of each these met mental abilities as independent of each other, each of them can be assessed separately and they cannot be a single score for intelligence. He suggests that cognitive ability profile for individual rather than a single IQ score. So the seven basic seven primary mental abilities are inductive, listening, memory, numerical ability, perceptual speech, special relationship, verbal comprehensions, and word fluency. I hope you understand the topic and thank you. Thank you for your time. Bye.